No, no, no. Take a dog as a walk. Hi, folks. Um, good to hear you again back at uh, the stripper number three. And I'd like to thank all you uh, girls and fellas for correcting my spelling of it. S T R I double P P double P. That's what it should have been. Um, because obviously he's a lot more familiar with the spelling than I am. Thank you. Um, this time we're going to paint the skirting board in the door. Not doing any stripping. Oh, I'll have to get some of this off. Um, so, let's take it from the beginning. I have sandpapered this down gently and brushed it over. So we're ready to paint. That's the undercoat on. I don't know what you wear yesterday when I put an undercoat on, but the uh, undercoat is on. So excuse me, probably well advised not to get paint on this jersey, nor on the shirt, just on the wall. So I'm inclined to do what I'm told. Alright, well first of all, we don't want to go down in this corner here, right? Try not to put any paint on the carpet. So let's take out a run of paper. Masking tape, masking tape, broad stuff. Now that we've put it down, just put it close to the wall as you can, but not overlap with any great deal. Then take it down, right? And now, with all faithful, paste paper, push that down gently, so that no paint will now go in the carpet. And we'll do that again here. Assuming you can follow that all right. We down here, are we? Good. I need to show off, just do it. Couple of pieces, couple of stages, both really. And again, overlap slightly, hard against the wall, but make sure not too high up. There we are. Put it down. Now let's tuck it down behind the castle so that we can relax. No, we're not going to put any paint on the carpet. And one more, another one along here. Again, I'm sorry this, but it is slow. But it uh, does the job properly. So a bit more tight. Up against the wall. And there we go. Tuck it down. Now, we're giving ourselves a fair chance that we won't damage or put paint on the carpet. Just make sure you keep your sleeves rolled up because there's hell to pay if you do it. So there we have it. Paint. I say amateur so it may be, I have found that using brand names as fast appears and take chances with cheaper stuff. But that's just my opinion. I'll be using two brushes. What I'm doing here is loading the paintbrush as best I can off the lid for the moment. Sitting on paper, we don't want it on the carpet. We also have tubs. Oh, forgive me, I'm going again. Tub, tub tray next door. Just in case. Just to be super safe from tops. Another brush I'll be using on the door. A lot of people are using rollers, which is great, but not so much for skirting board. And I say, what I'm trying to do here is load the paintbrush. Even just a couple of bits to dig it in. This is a gloss, crown gloss. And I said, I believe you can have the all-in-one paint. It's an undercoat as well as the gloss. 
But I've never found that to be the case. I've always had to go over it again. Now, it would be nice just to get straight into doing the big paint with the emulsion. However, if we do the skirting first, we can overlap it up onto the wall without uh, any hardship being created. But if we had done the emulsion on the full wall first, it meant that if we then went turn to doing the skirting board here, if we'd overlapped and went on the paint, it would be very difficult to get off. But as I've now done the gloss here, should any paint spill onto the gloss, we can quickly wipe it off when we're doing the walls. When we're, do when we're doing the walls. Now see, you can relax a bit, but you're not going to put anything. On to the carpet. I suppose the only thing slower than watching paint dry is watching it being put on. So with a small brush, a wee bit of control on the top as well. Nice gloss, spread it out. The modern paint really does grip and doesn't run, but uh, we'll have this done hard. Apparently the situation at the moment is to paint this room. I know what will happen once we go <coughs> first penny session we'll lots of ooh ah, that's lovely. Now then, what about the living room? That's what will happen. So again, horizontal strokes with the gloss. I do like the brand name paints. As I say, this is crown paint I'm using at the moment. And when you're finishing off, just keep, make sure the press is loaded towards the front and, and give it some strokes just to even it all out, make sure you're okay. You don't have to worry too much about hitting the wall because you haven't painted it yet. Stroke, join them together, and that's uh, along the top. So it's taken about uh, three bands, bands of paint. Obviously, I'm using this to judge how far I've got just to make sure it needs to wait. <clears throat> Another thing is use a quality brush because you can spend hours. With a cheaper brush when the hairs come off and stick the paint, you kind of got to stop and off. Just buy a good quality brush and go on with the job. You can use them over and over again. I'll show you, you probably know I suppose, but I'll show you how to clean them. So you can use them again. In the show, I've been using this. Liner. But the cheaper paint brushes just leave you dispirited and wish you hadn't started. Whereas this is a pleasure you see going on. No hairs will come off the brush, no scrape my way and pull them. No, just go on with it. There you are. That's just kept going. I'm going to be doing that right round the room. But I appreciate you all the end, really interested in if, it, if you are interested in this uh, particular part. It's good, but after this it's all the same. Now, I need 
door my slice mixture we can reach it. Um thing like that, is it? Yes, I know we should have a decent anyway. Now when I was doing the undercoat, I already, as you'll notice, I've taped the window to avoid putting paint on the window. And I think also what I'll do here, I think we'll open it. Mm -hmm. Open the ladders, rather than risk spilling the paint. I'm holding it. I'm still going to hold it. I'm not going to set it on the ladder's shelf. I'm going to be top down. But it doesn't, it doesn't have to be top down, but here we go. Having the undercoat on makes it a pleasure now to put the gloss on. You feel as if you're accomplishing something. I remember running it so that the paint does not cut in. That is running top of itself. That's why we spread it out. But with the undercoat on, it'll spread easy. Now, although this is not very deep, this window, we won't paint here and then work in and we'll work from the window out of the way. Just so that we. There we go. It's the same as the paper on there, I can be a little bit careless. Just to get on. It's still spread out. You don't want the, you don't want the cold curtains. There's so much paint on it, it runs over itself. Nice one. And down this side. Start with a smaller brush. Even though you've got the masking tape on the windows, well, be careful. You're doing a good job, so let's not mess up. So that's how it's worked our way out the way from the window. The glass now. Uh, so let's do the same here. All day I face that barren waste without a chance to water, cool, clean water. Oh, Dan, can't you see that big green tree where the water's running free? I was waiting time for you and me. Oh, yes, water. Always found the figure in a painting a room that was empty and a wooden floor. But the resonance in the room, the echo, was excellent. And you couldn't help but throw in a few um, songs as you went along. I don't know if was listening, but 
Well, they'll let it start and then it'll leave. Keep a moving, Dan. Don't you listen to him, Dan. He's a devil of a man. His bread's and one in sands worth water. Cool, clear water. The nights are cool, and I'm a fool. He stands a pool of water. Cool, clear water. Right, what are you going to do in the way? Maybe just try and go across the way too, again, to ensure there's no curtains, it's a nice finish. And then a settlement will just settle into itself, leave it nice and smooth. Now let's go down a step. Bear with me, we'll turn the cat face at the moment. As I said, don't be afraid to run up and down it. Not heavily, just glide over it. Make sure it's spread out evenly. Now the big chance to take it. Oh. <laughs> Make sure you cover everything and glide down, preferably be a hose around the planet, so it settles into itself. With under coordinate, you enjoy doing it, you can do a good job with the gloss, it feels good as you see it going on and spreading out. Let's get down beside it and hope it up again. All the time, finish off the nice feather touch across it. I'm just pressing it, as I said. This saves it to forming curtains, spreading it evenly. I might just spill it and it will be entertainment to the display. Start all over again. Start with the camera. Right, ladies and gentlemen, hold on there now, hold on. That says cover the side of the door. Let's kick it for the door itself. I 
chest again. We don't want to mess up the chest. There. I appreciate everybody's into using rollers, it's a bit, I suppose, but for the dog, I'll stay with the brush in case you feel it's a team. And the brush will look quicker, they don't have to throw things out, all them out. So let's take that brush and make it secure somewhere. And the paper, there. Now, a fresh brush, a broader brush. This one is two inches or fifty millimeters. I believe that one was um, that's half an inch, twelve millimeters, I think. So we're now going to use a two inch or milli, fifty mil. Again, load the paint brush up first. Put it in and take it back and forward. That way, this way, get into the paint. Really stuck, just to try it out. Force that in brush. When you bend over that, don't spill the paint. Let's do the door. But I still want to just Load the paint a bit more onto the brush. Just to try and get it through the bristles, get it out There we are, that's not bad. Right. Now, how to use the brush? The way I would do it. First of all, we do one along the top of the door there, right? I'll just go halfway across the door. Some more on the brush. We'll do another bag across here. One down, and now let's join the two bars together. We've done that, finish it with a nice stroke so you don't have too much paint. You don't want a lot of paint on, right? And when it runs, if it moves a wee bit, it moves into itself to have a nice finish. Right, that's what we're using the brush. Down again. You see that hope? Let me find the paintbrush, use it. Come down a bit, can you? We did a bit more in a minute. So that's one across the top, a bar across the top to join them up, okay? And spread it out. Nice. Now the other bar, but leave a space between the two bars, right, like so. Join the clips there, like so. And now make sure you spread it evenly. Pull one down on top of the other. Another up onto the other, like so. Okay, and now a nice skim across. No depth, it's just a nice skim. Right, and we go again. Come down here now. Just the one bar. Join it up. Spread them across. Nice. Now we can reach for the ladders. I'd like to see it better. Let's put one bar across here, not joining, space between it and the top part. Now let's join them. It takes a surface paint off the brush at the same time. You drag it across that side. But don't forget to give it a nice gentle finish. Let it run to itself. Nice. And again, another one, leave my space between them, remember? This spreads the paint out evenly. Eliminates the possibility of curtains. But with this modern paint, 
It's just usually that big problem. It's the non, it's not the non drip, you know. You may need to be more careful as I'm doing. Alright. Um, finish the door and that's finish the better. See, cross the halfway, leave a bad space and join the bands. You practice this on a piece of wood first. You know, if you do, you put it under quite a piece of wood as well. You know, and then just... It's quite a fast way of doing it until you get through it. And you're more or less limited to the possibility of it running over each other. You just squeeze it out. Right, it's your turn to give me a song. I'm just in hanging in there. But it's coming up nice. Now is not a time to spill the paint. Again, a good quality brush. I'm not spending half my time pulling my hairs off the door. Get brand paint and a brand brush. If you're using a brush, a brush is important. I know if you get them cheap and that's, you know, you get a whole bundle at the same time. <laughs> All the hairs will end up your door. You've left a bit with your hand. Because the gloss stuff, stick it, remember, pulls at the hairs in the brush. And again, flatten out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, this time I think you might be getting a bit bored so it's up to yourself. I'll keep going here. I'll use a smaller brush to get out the door handle. Cutting board, but uh, the undercoat grips the paint and holds it. It also grips it what is underneath and holds it. That's why uh, with the uh, underpaint on it becomes much easier. The undercoat on becomes much easier. The space between each bar and join them up. And finish off with horizontal, horizontal strokes. So if there's going to be anything running at all, I'll just smooth itself. Join it up. Again. 
I'm obviously a pro in your seats. I'm coming to halt now. So as I said, all I would have to say again is use brown paints, use quality brushes, put on the undercoat. Once the undercoat's on, give everything the undercoat a very light sandpaper, just gently touch it with sandpaper and then finish off with a slightly damp sponge to lift up any grains that might throw off the paint. If you want to go in and bother, you honest. Um, and that's it. So, that was masking tape to protect the carpet. I scraped it, tuck the masking tape down behind the carpet so that we could relax. We are doing the skirting board before we do the walls because once we've lost the skirting board and we then do the walls, should any go into the gloss, it's easily wiped off. If we turn the walls first and then mark them with gloss as we painted, it could be a menace, a sudden thought and start all over again. So that's why the walls, are the key to do them, to get a nice finish. The last to be done. And so it comes to an end. And I've not put any paint on my shirt, my jacket. Part of the mark that goes on my knees. Ladies and gentlemen, scan board, door, brush painted. Um, I hope that's of some assistance to somebody. Um, from an hour's point of view, that's one way to do it. And perhaps later I can show you how to clean the brushes because they're good brushes and you can always use them again over and over. Um, can I thank you very much? Take care. Cheers. Now then. Um, there's the guards cleaning the brushes. And we've got, because we've got quality brushes, they are worth cleaning them. As I said, if you buy the cheaper brushes, there's no point in cleaning them, because there might not be any brushes left on them anyway. And all you're holding is a piece of wood with the rest of the brushes stuck in the door. Sorry about that, folks. Sorry. Just laughing. I see people scraping bits of paintbrush off the door. So we are going to put in some uh, tub and tie. Tubs or subs, whatever you want. Right. 
Now the idea is to get it up into the brush. So we're going to squeeze the brush down flat. I hope you can see that, yes? No. Now squeeze the brush down flat. I'll give a demonstration of the sink itself, but for a minute this will do fine. Now that's me. Because before I was absorbing the paint into the brush. I'm now absorbing the top and into the brush. Again, laid out flat. Opens out like a skirt. So that we can soak it all up. Same with the smaller one. If you get half a chance, you could also do the same. To have it squeeze it. So as it runs down the handle, get the paint off the handle. So let's try and get it through it. The top and tie through it, right? Soak it up and squeeze it out. I'll squeeze it through it. Right, when we're finished with that, we've got plenty of top and tie, plenty of water. So let's now, oh and by the way, for goodness sake, do not put your paint hands on the tap. Use something to turn the tap on and off. Or it'll be all hell ready, excuse the language. So let's just break that down a bit, pour it out. Now, some washing up liquid. Same again. Now let the water come in there. Same procedure with this, I'm soaking up the soapy water into the brush. And again, with a smaller one. Get rid of all the tucks, put my way of it. However, I think I like to squeeze that dry as best I can, and we will do another. Remember, don't put some cellar um, cling film over the top of the taps before you start. You know, which I should have done. But then again, I was too clever to bother doing that, wasn't I? Oh, so let's get that off. Clean it out. Now, these brushes are worth cleaning. You do your praise and you're working, you realise you're calling stuff, you're doing a good job. So let's just. I think I can open this for me. More tucks in there. This time will give you an idea. So I just. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. Don't make a mistake. Now, tops in the sink. Show how the brush is spread out, if you can see that. Spread out like so. Into the top and tine. Sorry about that. Into the top and tine. Right, now we're really getting into it. We're getting the paint off the, off the brush. See how like a skirt, soaking all the top and tine up. I'm probably lost professionals looking at it to give me a row. But anyway, it works for me. And if a good brush, I'll take it. And I really would suggest you, you know, get a good, good, good tools. Makes it a lot easier. See that spread out? A ballerina. What do you call those things ballerinas man? Sorry, I forgot it is. There I have it. I like so cool. Now I reckon that's as broken the paint. 
Can it? So let's finish the job. I'll stay with the sink. How's about you? How have you all been taking some voices? So there's nothing to do, nothing to be painted. Let us see. Oh, you want to be able to instruct others. Oh, I get that idea. Right. Now that is as broken it. Now obviously you want to rinse the soap out of the brushes too. Same idea. Nice flared skirt. Soaking up all the water. And that, I'm just going to make sure a bit more soap just to make sure it's a piece of soap and I get to take up the time, but uh, that's just what I do right. And rinse that at the same time. And again, and that's just nice. Last wee thing to do, if you're just watching, squeeze it dry. Now you dry it off, I don't have to watch other people. But if you stick it up that way, not that way, for some reason or other, it dries it off quite quickly. Tomorrow they'll be ready to go again. Good brushes, ladies and gentlemen. Could, uh, Thank you once more. Hope that was some value to you. And I'll catch you all again sometime. Thank you.